They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of well, what these red pill PUAs are doing is they're they're using the challenge. They're challenging you and baiting you so they can guide you towards a family court and divorce court. The truth is, if these red pickup artists were so smart, they'd, they'd be sending you overseas. They'd be setting you up and giving you knowledge. Yo, take a flight, go here, go to Venezuela, go to Costa Rica, go here, go there. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll have some better dates up there. You know what I'm saying? Instead, they're trying to lead you to the family court. And they're trying to lead you to the trap. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're selling. They're selling a trap. And they're perfectly fine with guiding you to the slaughter. You know what I'm saying? Build a perfect woman and all this and that. Dude, you can't build a perfect woman. How can you build some how can you build up somebody that has more authority than you? It's like me going to the president and saying, you know what, I could make you a better president. And dude, I'm just a normal person. You, you don't have the level of authority to better that person. It's like me going to my boss. You know what, boss? I could make you a way better boss when I'm just a worker. I mean, I'm going to tell you this, man. The, the red pill pickup artist man they use the knowledge of you know your awareness of female nature and your awareness of the system to uh bait and switch you and trojan horse you towards the you know towards the family court and towards the divorce court they're basically in all honesty these red pill puas they're basically slave catchers, you know what I'm saying, to reference slavery. Their job for the family court and the divorce court is to find men that escaped the plantation, you know what I'm saying, that left or are not heading towards the plantation. Their job is to capture you and bring you to the plantation, and they do that by challenging you. They do that by telling you you're going to be part of a brotherhood and this. Think about it. You're going to be part of a brotherhood that's guided towards a divorce court and a slaughter. Think about that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's what these guys consider to be positive. The, 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 the red pill PUAs are no more than slave catchers. Their job, the red pill pickup artists, is to bring you back to the plantation, to the family court, to the divorce court. They're going to trick you by saying, you you could find a perfect woman, you could rebuild her and all that. You can rebuild someone that has higher authority than you do. They have more authority than you. Your girlfriend has more authority over you than you yourself. Because she, she can unleash the power of the government and the civil court against you at any time the family court all that so how can you how can you build a better version of someone that has more power over you than you yourself come on man so whatever you do man whenever these stay away from these red pill uh pickup artists you know what i'm saying pretending that they're they they have your best interest so they can trap you you know what i'm saying so they can get you to volunteer to head back to the divorce court and the family court. But, uh, hey, everybody. This is Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Now, this video is about what I call red PUAs. Red PUAs. You know, those... uh. What is a dating? I think it's those dating coaches and dating advice guys. What's happened is, you know, with with the with the evolution of the the manosphere and the red pill and MGTOW is that a lot of men have learned something. 
you know, the PUAs, those guys, uh, in fact, let me, let me look up what, uh, P, let me see, P, God damn it, PUA, Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Well, basically, what's happened is, in the manosphere, we have red PUAs, which is red pill pickup artists. Now, what the red pill pickup artists has learned is that men have, you know, men have wisened up to shame. You know, you can't shame a man into... You know, dating, into going out, into looking for a wife, into being ashamed, he's single. Shame no longer works. Because, you know, men have seen that, you know, we're being attacked. Well, one thing about, you know, this is why I say about, you know, a lot of guys. I watch a lot of red pill channels, you know what I'm saying? But they're, they're so much on the surface. You know, they're saying, yo, they, all they do is attack men all day, every day. Every video is attack men. But what they don't add is that you being attacked so much, you become numb to it. Become numb to what society's telling us to do and trying to shame us. You become numb. You become numb to it, man, at some point. And the other thing with men is we have hobbies, you know what I'm saying? Video games, uh, sports, gym, we got hobbies. So you keep attacking us with anti-male um, anti messages, we're just going to dive deeper into our hobbies. So what the red PUAs, the red pickup artists, and, and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of red pill guys that become pickup artists. What they do, they, they're they aware that shame no longer works on you, but they're aware of male nature. Man, man's ultimate weakness is, you know, beyond the thirst for, for the peace leave, as the coach would say, thirst for the peace leave, as uh, Coach Greg Adams would say, we have a thirst for a challenge. You know what I'm saying? So... What a lot of these red PUAs will do is they'll challenge you. They'll challenge you to do the work. And I, I'm going to tell you this, man. Anytime a, a quote-unquote pickup artist or a man offers, tells you, you got you to gotta get on the field. You got to do the work. Let me ask you something. Okay, if you're, you're telling me to go out there to do the work, how much, are, how much am I getting paid? How much am I getting paid? You, whenever uh, a red PUA, a red pill pickup artist, tells you to go do the work, man, you can't give up. Go do the work. You can't give up on getting with someone to potentially lose everything. But whenever they ask you, yo, you gotta go do the work. What you gotta say as a man is, how much are you? How much are you paying me to do this work? Cause I don't work for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm already working 40, 40 plus hours a week. So if this, you know, if you want me to do the work and this is overtime, am I getting paid double? That's what they do. What they've done, these red pill pickup artists, is they challenge you. Because, like, like I said on my previous videos, we men suffer from a very dangerous illness that, you know, that illness is that whenever we see something happen to another man, the majority of us look at it from a third-person perspective. You know, it's happened to them, not us. When in reality, we got to look at it from a first-person perspective. Like you're playing a Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at things, don't look at what happens to other men like it's Fortnite. Like it's a third-person perspective. It happened to them, not me. You got to look at it from a first person perspective as though it happened to you. And, and you got to look at it as it happened to me 
and I'm analyzing it. What would I do in that situation? What can I do? So what the red pill PUAs have mastered is that they're not, they're training you to game women, of course, if they train you with this course, build a better woman, you know, build a better woman like you're buying a build a bear. I'm going to teach you how to build a better woman. You know, a uh, young man's red pill did a video on this and I'm going to link it. And I was thinking of doing this video like a week ago or two, three weeks ago, but you know, had some other things I was doing. But what these guys offer is how to build a better woman. You know what I'm saying? Like a woman's, uh, you know what I mean? Like a woman's a builder bear. You got to do this. You got to do that. I mean, you know, they, they got to have their hustle. But my thing is, you know, my thing is if you're really red pill and you're trying to teach men how to game the, you know what I'm saying, how to build the perfect woman, which is entering the matrix again, they're basically trying to tell you, well, you can re-enter the matrix and you can trick it and rebuild it to benefit you. When in reality, you're going into the matrix unarmed. You're going up, you're going in there trying to basically fix something that's above you. Here's the thing, man. You you as a man cannot build a better woman when you can't change the law. If you can't change the law, you can't build a better woman. You know what I'm saying? You you got to be able to change the law. If you can't change the law, you can't do nothing. And what these guys are doing, they've learned that if they shouldn't shame you. And what they do is they sprinkle knowledge. You know, you should do this and do that. But when I pick up women... You know, this is what I do to get it working. You know what I mean? They always sprinkle, they'll they'll sell you some some uh you know some red pill knowledge and some MGTOW knowledge and then they'll sprinkle and uh, I could teach you how to date you know you know uh women hit the wall at this age, but here's but I, I don't date them like that. I get them like this. So the red PUA and what's dangerous about the Red PUA is it's that it's a man that's a professional at leading other men to the slaughter. That's that's what a Red PUA is. And you could say that a Red PUA, you got to treat a Red PUA like a male ambassador for the family court. That's what you got to treat, treat a Red PUA as, a male ambassador for the P, you know, male ambassador for the family court. That's what a that's what a red pill pickup artist is, because they're trying to train you to get into, you know, what I'm saying the family court, and and to become a victim of the laws, the anti-male laws that exist. So, and and what's dangerous about a red pill pickup artist? You know, young man's red pill, he he touched up on it. But to me, he touched up more on the surface. You know, they make their money like this. and You know what I'm saying? I'm not disrespecting him. And I'm just saying he touched up on the surface. But deeper than that, what's dangerous is that they're... You got to look at a pickup artist like, uh, like I said. They're an, amba they're an ambassador of the family court ambassador of marriage and an ambassador of the anti-male laws their job in fact no they're they're a guide they're a guide towards the family court towards the divorce court and towards you know what i'm saying basically falling for the traps that lie ahead as a man that's what those uh, red pill puas are pickup artists red pill pickup artists they have the knowledge so they they speak the knowledge and wisdom and all that so they can take keep your attention then they trojan horse you towards you know guiding they guide you towards the family court and divorce court oh you could do this here's how you get a woman here's how you keep her you know what I'm saying? How you keep her attracted to you and all that. When in reality, I'm going to tell all of you this, man. No man 
is more attractive than the government. The government and the family court are the most attractive men on earth, you know, men in this country. The reason is that the family court doesn't mind if she sleeps with another man. Family court doesn't mind if she gets pregnant by another man. You have to understand where you stand as a man. So those red pill pickup artists, and, and what's dangerous is that they're proud. They're happy to lead you to the slaughter. You know what I'm saying? And they have pride in it. They're going to train you to accept. Because what's more dangerous than a, you know what I'm saying? A man, you know, you could read the shame that the women are offering. But what these men, these red pill pickup artists do is they give you a false sense of brotherhood. A false sense of caring. And, and let's be honest, we as men... You know, we can form a brotherhood easily. We we get attached to respecting one another and to living up to each other's expectations. You know what I'm saying? So those red pill pickup artists, what they do is they game you with uh, a challenge. What they what they sell to you as a man is it's a challenge, man. You gotta go on the field. You gotta gain knowledge, man. You gotta. You got to, this is a challenge. You got to stay up to date on what's going on in these streets, man, with the, with the women and the real world and the dating game. You're, you're out of date. Notice that. You're out of date. They're basically telling you, you have to become better. Unlike the women that shame you for being a bachelor, the red pill pickup artists, what they do is they challenge you. They challenge you and give you a false sense of brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? That a false sense that you're letting them down. You know what I'm saying? You're letting yourself down as a man. You're not a man because you don't want to play the game. And think about that. Relationships used to be about coming together and all that. And I'd say even before, you know, I'd say around the, around the you know, before the no-fault divorce. You could look it up that once that was passed, divorce started skyrocketing. But uh, it, it, it used to not be a game. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a game of relationship. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, alpha male thing. I'm going to do a video on that later. But these red pilled pickup artists are extremely, I'd say extremely dangerous because they're trying to lead you to the slaughter as a Trojan horse. You know what I'm saying? They're pretending to be by your side but every they sprinkle a little hey man you know you gotta you gotta do the work you gotta get in the field you know what i'm saying like i said whenever another man asks you to do work you gotta ask him how much how much are you paying me and the other thing you gotta ask him these uh red pill pickup artists is you gotta ask him how much insurance do you have how much insurance how much do i have to pay for insurance on you representing me during the divorce, during the false allegations, during the uh, child support. How, how much do I pay you a month to give me insurance so you can take care of that? You know what I mean? You got to understand, the red pill pickup artists, they're trying to guide you to the slaughter, and they're no more than guides to the family court, guides to the divorce court. You know what I'm saying? That's what they are. And what they've done is they've mastered, and they know this as men, like I said, we men, whenever another man, you know what I'm saying, burns on the, you know, is set on fire, we look at it as, we look at it from a third person perspective. So that's him. That ain't me. I wouldn't get burned like that. Instead of looking at it from a first person perspective of, damn, that happened right there, man. That happened to me you know what i'm saying damn if that happened to me i'd be done so the red pickup artists what they do is they they bait you with a challenge yo you gotta gotta go do the work you know what i'm saying you you gotta you gotta live up to an expectation a woman likes this a woman likes that you they're basically training you to be the perfect mark perfect mark for the family court and divorce court 
They're going to mention, you know, you could do this, you could do that. They're attracted to this, they're attracted to that. They're training you to be the perfect mark. That's what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to bait you. If they do the bait and switch with a challenge, you won't be a man, you ain't a man. You know, and they're hypocrites, man. You know, how in one breath you going to say, yo, man, they're t a woman shouldn't tell me to be a man. You know, because I'm not with her. And then you as a red, as a PUA, going to say you're not a man unless you get on the field and do work. You know what I'm saying? Go on these dates. For what? In all honesty, it's like I said on my other videos. You want to go on a date, you might as just save money. Get your passport and take a trip overseas for like a week. Do what you got to do over there and come back. And there's no point. What's the point in, you know what I'm saying? What's the point in spending $200, $150 on a date with a stranger? You're investing in a stranger for nothing. You know what I mean? And some guys going to say, well, you you know, you, you shouldn't be doing it for something. Then why are we doing it for? That That's the greatest thing about the mainstream media has done. They've... They've shamed men from why they're doing it for. It's for sex. It's for, uh, you know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. If it ain't for that, then why are you here? You here to just be her talking buddy? Or accompany her to something? You know what I mean? There has to be an end goal in the family. And what these red... But uh, this has been Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Peace. They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of...